Good evening and welcome to the Type Tracker channel. Tonight you join us at Beamish Open Air Museum here in Durham. And it's pouring out with rain, but it is the Halloween event. Never done a Halloween event here before, so this is all new for me too. So come on, let's go get spooky. Well, yes, those drums were as loud as they sounded on the video. Uh, in this light, I've got my face. I can't see where I'm going. Anywho, word of warning, if you come to Beamish and you have a mobility scooter, you cannot go on the wheelchair bus. It doesn't have the anchor points, but a wheelchair, you can go on a wheelchair bus. As you might hear, the little trail that runs through the woods towards the Colliery Village, which is my shortcut. If you ever watch my videos, you know that is my shortcut across to the Colliery Village. Um, there is a scare trail. And there's people screaming. But we're not going there yet. We're gonna head down to the Old Town first and work our way back up. A quick change of plan. We're gonna head up to Pockley Hall first. Uh, they have put a coffee station here, which is cool. And we've got some sort of devil thing blocking the road. Uh, yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. Hello. Have you been naughty or have you been nice? I believe I've been nice. No! You must be naughty. Not naughty. You have to be naughty. So, who is this? No, clearly. Who are you? I'm Satan, Beelzebub, the devil. Take your snake, your pig. <laughs> Mr. Morning Star. <laughs> Stand on the track. That's good. I'll see you soon. <laughs> a spooky graveyard. And water on a lens. So we're heading through Pockley Hall. You smell a fire? You can't smell a fire, we can. Very spooky. Oh, I love, love the pumpkins. Yeah. That's a good idea with the marbles. I think we're being watched. Oh no! I've been attacked by um, spider's webs. Uh oh, I think it's haunted. I'm going to head into this room and... Your belly button. 
<laughs> the spider's webs are getting me. I'm covered in cobwebs. Oh, can you hear the? Can you hear the doll speaking? Is she real? Is she not real? We don't know. We head outside. Go that way. Is he real? Is he not real? <laughs> He's real! Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. So the 1950s miners welfare cottages over there opened up whilst I was in Texas so I haven't been down to have a look yet but I will fetch you back sometime in the next couple of weeks to have a look at it. Next up we're going to head into the 1950s street. Quick construction update on the cinema and uh, see what's going on down the street so the 1950s cinema is coming along absolutely fantastic hopefully that'll be open for the start of the season next year and i will be here on opening day of course so here we go this is the 1950s street with the hairdressers the ice cream shop the witches and the uh, fish and chip shop First time I've been here when it's been this dark. Fantastic. So we've come into the Masonic Hall upstairs to look at the curious creatures. So we've got snakes and spiders and tortoises, etc., etc., and steam on the lens. So we have a royal python. It's only a little one. And a boa constrictor. Wow. Hissing cockroach. Giant African millipede.
Do you want to make a wand? Yeah? Which one do you want to pick? Wand in there. Beamish, squeamish, yes. Oh. You gotta say it louder. Beamish, squeamish. Make sure it's covered, yeah. Anybody else? Is it covered? Yes, it looks like give it a shake. Yep, there we go. And have you got a card that needs that? We haven't got a card, no. Good choice. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. We've got a spooky hearse. We've got fire dancing show going on over there, but you cannot get anywhere near. So I suggest if you want to watch that up close to get there well before the show starts. And it's on three times a night. Spooky. I just said Oh dear, Ellie. <laughs> Into the next house. Quick note, if you want to go through the houses in the old town, there is stairs to get up. So it's not good if you can't walk. So we have more stairs to contend with. Just lone candle in here. Well, it is absolutely chucking it down now. And uh, because we can't get on the buses because of the mobility scooter, we're gonna have to walk back around to Pockley, take that cut through the woods and head towards the colliery that way. So we're heading through the back entry into the colliery village through the woods. You never know what might be lurking in these trees. Apart from rain, hold on, I'll wipe your face. So far, nothing's lurking in the woods, except rain. And a witch. I can't believe you didn't spill a drop. 
So we found a witch. Is there anything else we'll find? <laughs> Gotta continue heading through. So far, it was a witch. I was expecting a lot more on that scare trail, to be fair. Never mind. What's inside of them bags? Hmm. So we've got a, a hangman photo up. So we're gonna have, have a quick word with the hangman and this, uh, and this corpse, right up there, nice, close up into the corpse. she's nice and nice and dead, aren't you? Yeah, there's yeah. always occasional death rattles, though. Yeah. Yeah, you have to watch this. Ah! Like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> so in the colliery, we have a street performer. Going to head into the pit cottages. Couldn't get the word out there. Something spooky in that window. Hello. Hello. We are having a very wet, scary night. Um, he, he looks, uh, he looks dead impressed. Right. Okay. There's a witch in the coal house. It's nice and warm in here. Not as warm as it was before. Oh, this big spider. <laughs> that is my spider. <laughs> And in this house, we've got another fortune teller. Should we go and have a look so at the pickled brains? You can have a look. Yeah, yes, you might need some brains, pickled or otherwise. <laughs> Come on. We're going to head through the spooky school.
Well, as you can hear by the drums, we are nearing the exit. The event is now over, it's half nine, so we're heading home. I'll give you my opinions on the event. It's the first time I've done it when we get back to the car. Well, we're back in the car now. We are absolutely drenched. That's not Beamish's fault, that's the weather's fault. That can't be helped. Now, honest opinions on the event. Value for money? No, I don't think it was value for money. Um, it cost us, I think it was 78 quid for the four of us. And it could have been so much more. Uh, if you're not able-bodied, you will miss out on a lot because a lot of it is over steps because it is old buildings. And upstairs, they could have had more on ground floors and more, oh, I'm starting to steam up, and uh, more around the areas where you can access. Catering wise, not very good. They could have had more catering. Will I rush to come back? I don't know. Maybe next year for a video, I might just get one ticket just to come in and take you guys around. Uh, it depends on how well this video does actually. So yeah, that's my honest opinion of the Halloween event here at Beamish. Now, since you're steamed up because it's so wet in here, see you all in the next one. Now it's time to do your job. <laughs>